All right, let's talk about encapsulation. So right now, I have a player in the game. So let's imagine I'm building some sort of video game, and I'm making a new player. I'm storing it under the variable x, and when I create a new, when I instantiate the opposite of static, I make a copy of the player class, and I call this particular player Mr. A. Then if I say, okay, x, print out your name, and print out the current health, then there it is. And now, but what if I wanted to change that? If I said X, your name is now, um, I don't know, Pete, and uh, your health is now, um, I don't know, 100,000. So let's just see if I can just hack the game. It's compiling, it's compiling, see if I can hack it. And boom, I just hacked the game. And so I overrode what the X's name was and how much health. And so uh, these are exposed properties. Um, I can just change what, uh, what the properties of this individual X is, this, this particular player. Uh, it has exposed properties. And so if there were a, a hundred game, uh, players in my game, I could edit each one as needed, or they could might be able to inject code into the app and change their own, um, find some way to sneak uh, some sort of code into the game. There's a surprising number of ways of doing that, and they could edit uh, their name or their health or some aspect of the game and get an unfair advantage. So this is what it looks like. I have. Um, the player class here, I don't need to specify the class as public, but so I have a, a player and it has a public uh, integer for his health and a public string that stores his name. And when I construct the player, um, I get the name. Um, so that's this name, this string coming in here. And then I say, okay, this individual's name is the, set to the local variable here. And uh, this player's health is set to 100. That's where you see that. Now, if I wanted to restrict it so I couldn't edit them again, I change this to private health and private uh, name. And so now these are locked. They are um, no longer accessible here. You can see that they're underlined. But you know how I can't change these anymore. Um, but I'd like to s print what the guy's name is. Well, this is where I get accessor methods. I can access that information if you'd like, and I can, I'll make a new, a public uh, uh, method that returns a string, and I'll call it name, but it has parentheses, so it's a function, and I'll just return name, this dot name. And so this individual player's name gets returned. So now I can get this name, but I'd have to call it as a method. And, and I need to do the same for the health over here. So public int health, I should have been spaced there, um, and return health. Okay, so now I can run it and it'll still print out but if I try to edit it, it's a re it's I've changed it to read only. I can't change things now because this is a one-way street. This is saying please produce the uh, the name. It's so it's returning that name, um, and that's it. And it's compiler is slow to adjust. Um, but I am no longer able to change it. I would have to change it something else, and I could restrict it. Public uh, int um, well, let's say void. I don't return anything. I, I instead I change. I take a new number um, like damage. So maybe there's like t t not Heath, but um, health. Maybe I take some damage, and so I say uh, health minus equals uh, damage. So I can take the health down a little bit, but you can't heal. Maybe I build a special thing to heal, and maybe I check to make sure. Uh, you know, who's asking me to do this? I make I, I build in some extra code to make sure that you're not hacking the game. So now if you want me to change the health, increasing it, 
might be a little bit more difficult. Or the, anyway, so the idea is that I make it easy for you to access what the current name is. But if you wanted to change things, I can put in more rules. And so that's encapsulation. I put these as private and I give you public accessor methods to, uh, to get a copy of it, but you can't change them um, except for when you first create the player. So here is when I can change, give it the name, and that's when the health is initially uh, initialized, when it is set up. But after that, you need to um, go through other public methods. And those methods that I haven't built yet are called mutators. And that's how, so accessor methods and mutators. Sometimes they're get methods and set methods. So getters and setters, accessors and mutators. Um, that's half the equation. The other half of encapsulation is private properties or instance variables. All right, I hope that makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions.